Welcome to the video tutorial on on-demand 3D software. This video will cover dental module which contains essential functions for better implant, treatment planning, and accurate diagnosis. There are five different tabs in dental module which are MPR, dental, TMJ, bilateral TMJ, and verification. In this video, we will cover dental tab. There are several task tools in dental tab for implant planning. Firstly, start drawing an arc to obtain a cross-sectional and panorama image. To draw an arc manually, go to Art or Curve tool. Click on our starting point on Excel pane and along the arc, then double-click to finish drawing. Otherwise, go to an Excel slice where the full arc is visible and select Auto Arc tool for automated arc generation. Once it's finished, panoramic and cross-sectional images will be generated automatically. Secondly, you can utilize Nerve tool to draw inferior alveolar nerve path on any pens for treatment planning and diagnosis. Now we will draw nerve path on cross-sectional pane. Select nerve tool and click on a starting point. Then screw using mouse screw wheel and click on the next connecting point. Double click to finish the drawing. After the nerve is drawn, the nerve path will be highlighted and visible in all of the panes on the layout. If you want to make modification to the arc or nerve that you have just drawn, click on Modify tool and select either one. Then the points along the path can now be manipulated. Right click and select remove the control point to remove the point. Right click, select delete this mark to remove the nerve path. Thirdly, go to implant 2 to start implant planning and simulation. Under implant 2, they are pick and place, place, bone density, lease, abutment and angle tool for implant planning. Before an implant fixture is placed, we recommend you to press Reference, where two blue reference lines will be shown in a cross-sectional pane. Then, click Pick and Place tool, and the implant library window will pop up, which provides manufacturer list, product lines, preview window, and a section where the individual's implant model are to be selected from. After selecting the fixture and press OK to close the window. Next, click on the area where you want to place the virtual implant and select the corresponding tooth number when the dialogs pop up. The default tooth numbering system can be changed in the preference menu when needed. After the implant fixture has been inserted, you can adjust and move it accordingly with mouse. Right click on the fixture and select Attach Abutment. And you can place abutment on the implant fixture from our library too. During the implant planning, do not forget to check the bone density. 
click bone density which provides graphs on the bone density information for each implant. You will be able to see bone density information of both inside and outside of the implant fixture. If you want to see a list of implants and details that have insert, click on list and then implant manager window will pop up. Not only that, you can select an implant and press remove to remove it. Or press hide to hide the implant from the screen. If you want to hidden implant to be shown again, simply click show and the implant will be shown again. Remember to press OK for the changes to take effect. If you have inserted more than one implant, you can also click on angle to calculate the angle between any two implants. Select two implants from the menu and the angle values will be automatically calculated. The preference menu has three tabs, wheel, settings, and color. In the default wheel tab, you will be able to set preference for whether to show hash line, nerve segments, implant safety cylinders, and etc. In the setting tab, you will find more advanced settings such as the default radius of the nerve in millimeters and tooth numbering system settings. If you want to change color of curves, nerves, and reference lines, setting can be done in color tab. Now, you might be wondering what is Sculpt? Well, you can use Sculpt image as a guide to switch to a different Excel slice or to resize the data to include less of the whole CD data. Click Sculpt and a window with Sculpt image pops up. The area with an orange rectangle is the area of interest for the user. If a full Sculpt wheel is not needed, you can set the area of interest by expanding or shrinking the orange rectangle. And now, what is axis and resize tool? This tool is, is used to make adjustments to the axis of CT data. Drag the blue reference lines to readjust and click resize to resize. For easy viewing, don't forget to make use of the grid by checking show grids. Rotation degrees will be shown in yellow on the Excel pane, while the yellow line on the 3D pane refers to the horizontal plane of the teeth. Please note that in case you choose to reslice, most of the layout settings will be lost along with any pre-drawn art information. With the recent updates, On Demand 3D provides new additional tool for intraoral or 3D model scan alignment. Select maxilla or mandible, press model button, and then select align. Then the align model with its step window will pop up. Select 3D model or press this button to load the SDL file. Then scroll the density bar left and right to adjust the density. And then double click on each dataset to pick 3 to 10 corresponding points from the 3D and 3D surface. The RMSE value must be under 1mm in order to proceed with alignment and achieve accurate results. The RMSE value will change to green once the corresponding points are in the acceptable RMSE range. In general, 
RMSE under 0.3 mm is recommended for best results. To proceed, click Next. Finally, verify the alignment by scrolling through the axle and cross-sectional wheels and making sure STL data is tightly in contact with the patient data. The blue contour on the axle and cross-sectional pins indicates the STL data. Once the control is verified, click OK to finish the alignment. After merging the STL data, you might want to check and edit the list of 3D models. Click Model and select 3D Model and then a 3D model list pops up. Click Import to import 3D model onto the aligned data. Input object name and choose whether to import 3D model onto the patient data or onto the guide or stone which is previously aligned STL data. Visibility, color and control line of the 3D models can be adjusted according to your preference. After implant planning, go to Verification tab to verify the placement of simulated implants. An implant cross and implant parallel pins are included in this layout for much more precise planning. For more than one implant, you can switch between them using the implant ID on the toolbar located above. This icon refers to the reorientations of implants. You will see four arrows surrounding the selected implants and two arrows outside the precise rotations in the implant parallel plane. Now you've seen how easy to do implant planning in dental module. Go ahead and start now. Thank you for watching this video.